The human brain is a marvel of nature. It processes information with incredible efficiency. Scientists and engineers have always been inspired by the brain. They strive to build artificial systems that mimic its power. Spiking neural networks, or SNNs, are a new type of artificial intelligence. They are inspired by the way real neurons communicate. Traditional artificial neural networks are based on continuous signals. SNNs, on the other hand, use spikes just like our brains. These spikes are discrete events that occur in time. This makes SNNs more realistic and potentially more powerful for processing temporal information. Imagine understanding a sentence or recognizing a melody. Time plays a crucial role. SNNs have the potential to revolutionize AI. They can handle tasks that are difficult for traditional networks. Examples include real-time processing and event-based vision. Imagine self-driving cars that react instantly to sudden changes. Or picture robots that can navigate complex environments seamlessly. SNNs are still a relatively new field, but they are rapidly evolving with new discoveries and breakthroughs happening all the time. Join us as we explore the fascinating world of SNNs and unlock the secrets of brain-inspired computing. Let's break down the basic components of SNNs. Just like the brain, SNNs are made up of interconnected neurons. Each neuron receives input from others. These inputs are electrical pulses called spikes. When a neuron receives enough spikes within a short period, it fires its own spike. This is how neurons communicate. The timing of these spikes is crucial. It encodes information about the input. For example, a strong input might cause a neuron to fire a rapid burst of spikes. A weak input might result in a slower, more sporadic pattern. Synapses connect neurons. They play a vital role in learning. Synaptic plasticity refers to the ability of synapses to strengthen or weaken over time. This is how SNNs adapt and learn from experience. Imagine you touch a hot stove. The pain receptors in your hand send a barrage of spikes to your brain. This strengthens the connections between the neurons involved in that pathway. The next time you encounter a hot object, your brain will recognize the danger more quickly. You will react accordingly. This is synaptic plasticity in action. Now, how do we translate real-world data into these spike patterns? This is where encoding comes in. Think of it as converting our language into the language of neurons. There are several ways to encode information into spikes. One common method is rate coding. Here, the frequency of spikes represents the intensity of the input. A brighter image, for example, might be encoded as a higher spike rate. Another method is temporal coding. This uses the precise timing of spikes to convey information. The exact arrival time of a spike can be crucial, especially for tasks involving timing and sequences. Population coding is yet another approach. This utilizes a group of neurons to represent a single input. Each neuron in the population responds to a specific feature of the input. The overall activity pattern across the population encodes the complete information. For instance, different neurons might fire for different colors within an image. Encoding is a crucial step in building SNNs. It allows us to bridge the gap between the real world and the spiking world of these networks. Section 4. Leaky, Integrate and Fire, a simple neuron model. Let's meet the Leaky, Integrate and Fire or LIF model. This is a simple yet powerful mathematical model of a neuron. It captures the essence of how neurons process spikes. Imagine, if you will, a leaky bucket. The bucket represents the neuron and water drops are incoming spikes. Each spike adds a small amount of water or electrical charge to the bucket. The bucket also has a small leak causing it to slowly lose water over time. This simulates the decay of electrical potential in real neurons. If the water level reaches the top of the bucket or a threshold, the neuron fires a spike. It then quickly empties the bucket, resetting itself for the next round of input. The LIF model, though simple, captures the fundamental dynamics of neuronal firing. It forms the basis for building more complex SNNs. We can adjust the leakiness of the bucket and the threshold level to fine-tune the neuron's behavior. Section 5. Constructing a spiking network. Now imagine connecting many of these lift neurons together. We create a network capable of processing complex information. Building an SNN is like assembling a puzzle. We need to specify the network architecture, connect neurons with synapses, and define how these synapses will learn. The architecture dictates how neurons are organized into layers and how these layers interact. 
The number of layers, the number of neurons in each layer, and the connections between them all influence the network's capabilities. We can build SNNs for different tasks, just like with traditional neural networks. For example, a convolutional SNN excels at image recognition. A recurrent SNN is well suited for processing sequences such as natural language. The possibilities are endless.